Welcome to English 10, Summer 2016. My name is Mrs. Noon and I'm excited to help you be successful in this class. This quick screencast is to show you how to find your way around Blackboard. This is what you should see when you open up the page. I'm planning to add um, a picture or something like that um, and you will see that when I put it up there. The first thing that you need to do is look at the different buttons that are available here. You need to make sure that you're using the calendar pacing guide in syllabus. The syllabus was sent to you and you need to make sure that you review it. One of your first things to do is to have a parent or guardian review the syllabus and send it back. You um, would click on the summer pacing guide and go ahead and print it. Each day is blocked out in terms of the pace that you should do the work and it will help you keep track of all the assignments that you need. The second thing that you want to do every day is go into assignments. In assignments you'll see two folders. First are the standard assignments which we use most of the time. You'll go into safe assignments only for these five tasks. When you click on the standard assignments folder you will see several different assignments. The first is the intro blog, then you have the day one assignment sheet. So at the beginning of each day you're going to go into assignments and you're going to click on the day one assignment sheet. It's going to give you this warning, you can right click on it and open it up in a new tab. So these are the steps that you will walk through. So it's taking a little while to open. And it's taking a little while to download. So I'm going to go back to Blackboard and talk to you a little bit while it continues to open. Then once you have the assignment sheet, that's where you load everything that you do during class that day. All of your assignments, your blogs, everything, even if you've posted it somewhere else in Blackboard, you're going to collect on that one assignment sheet. So you would put your name here. This is an example of the assignment sheet. You'll have your task, the points earned, completion grade, and when this is your document, you're going to copy and paste underneath these different assignments. Then when you're done, you need to submit it, of course. So you would click on where you see day one and we're previewing it, um, not saving it, but you would click on, you would scroll down, you would click on browse my computer, you would find the assignment sheet that you had filled and saved on your computer, and you would hit submit. Sometimes students hit save draft, but if you save draft, I can't grade it, so then you don't get credit for it. So that's what you're going to be doing every day to get credit for the assignments that you're doing. The package file you will find um, within the English 10 unit. So you would click on English 10 units and summer school and you would find the information there. You will also need to use Blackboard Collaborate at least once a day and this is what enables you to join the chat each day. You would click on this link. Again, you're going to right click on it and open it in the new tab or you'll get that same error message that you did before. Should you miss it and you're not able to make it with another class, these are the links that you can use to find that. Over here is another thing that you'll be using frequently, which is the words and their stories link. Hopefully you've created your, um, you haven't created your account, but you've used your account. Your login, of course, is your ID number and your name, as I said in that introductory email to you. So hopefully this all makes sense. The wiki tool is here. You'll have a couple of wiki assignments. We'll have some um, as soon as I get pictures from everyone, we, you can put your pictures here, and this is where you're going to be doing that first intro blog. And I'll go ahead and post there too so that you can see what I look like. The discussion board is here. Um, keep in mind that one other thing that you can do to find things easily is click on the class menu in a window, and then it just shows it as folders. And you can click on the plus to expand them, and then to help you find what you're looking for. 
So here's the grammar, usage and mechanics, assignments. Here's information about the books. Here are some information about the different surveys and quizzes that you're going to be taking throughout um, the year, well, the summer school year. So hopefully um, this gives you a quick brief overview of where to find everything in discussion board. When we meet again on Tuesday, we're going to go over what um, you need to do in, in order to access or make good use of the online chat. We have a little more time, so I'll go ahead and show you what happens when you do the link. Again, you're going to open it in a new tab. You'll have to download the launcher, so allow enough time for that. Then you'll click on join. You'll see this button pop up, that, and you'll say that you want to run. And that's going to take a little bit of time. You'll type in your name, and then I'll go through the different tools and things like that that are available.